What is up you guys? It is your boy, Brett and Babies here, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins. Some people might call them the AC version of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, but before we get into this video, um, I just want to quickly talk about, um, I am officially kind of getting back into the swing of things. I will be trying once a day at least to be uploading, um, the Team Before series. I want to try to get this finished pretty quickly so I can maybe talk about, you know, other teams that they do improve during the offseason. And two, um, so then I may be able to make, like, two predictions. One which will be my official, and then the other one, I don't know. Uh, so, it, it's going to be a little interesting. And honestly, I may try... Again, don't guarantee this. Um, I may try to do week one, week two, week three, week when they come out, which again, that's that's a gigantic if because high school is going to either be more or less time than I had before. Uh, actually, maybe a little bit more actually because I've been staying up a little bit longer. Hmm, I don't know. You may find out. Not. But uh, anyways, guys, I really do hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the video. Uh, also, like and subscribe if you haven't already. So the Dolphins, they're an interesting team. The Dolphins, in my opinion, one of the big contributors of why this team kind of just stinks is because they, it's multiple things in my opinion. One, this team has been pretty injury prone. I mean, last season they lost a lot of defensive players and even Tyree Kale during the end of the season. And two, well, maybe not the end of the season, but like, we missed a couple. Ooh. Well, they live in Miami. I don't think there's really a lot to explain about that. Like, seriously, I think there's a lot of teams in the AFC that play in the South. I don't think so. Like, what I mean by the South exactly, I mean basically when the weather is about like 50 degrees or 40 degrees or something. Like, obviously, you can see during the first half of the season, they do really, really well. Second half, they start off good, obviously, with November, and not good in December and January. Obviously, there are actually some good teams that do play in warm climates. Like, for example, the Titans. The, not the Titans, scratch them. The Jaguars, the Texans. I can't. Maybe LA, maybe Las Vegas. Um, and it also doesn't help that this team ends up playing in the East, which is like arguably one of the most coldest divisions in the league, in my opinion, because like New England is owned by Boston, New York is in no, New York, and like in New York City, and Buffalo is in. Pretty cold places. And it also doesn't help. We Jeez. live in Kansas. Which ended up being one of the most coldest games when they were in the playoffs. So, like, again, it kind of doesn't help that this team ends up having to go against teams that are in more, more colder climates. So, that doesn't really help matters. I mean, it understands, like, it's understandable why this is the case, but, like, again, like, yeah, it's just like. Expect. This team is a really, really, really um, interesting team. Like this team, in my opinion, can like if, like if they had like a let's say weather issue, this team, in my opinion, can easily be a super competitive team. I don't really see like really look at the roster, and you can't say it's not that bad. I mean, you got Tua, Devon Achan, Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, Reheat Moster. Um, Um, Connor Williams, um, Bradley Chubb, Jalen Phillips, Christian Wilkins, Jalen Ramsey, um, Javon Holland, etc. Right? You know, they actually have a pretty good team. The problem, like I said before, 
is the fact that they play in warm climate and at the end part of the season where they play in cold climates, they suck. Obviously, I do also think I like the signing of Jordan Brooks. I mean, I don't really think he's in my opinion to Jerome Baker and you're paying him the exact same money that he's getting paid in Seattle, but that's my opinion. So you kind of can get a little bit of the point here. And also the other thing that this team really does lack as well is the factor that this team cannot stay healthy. Last year, that was one of the biggest things of why that team did not do good against the Chiefs. Or really any team here at that, that later point in the season. Riley Chubb was hurt for the rest of the year. Andrew Dan Zyke, I think, was ended, had a season in the injury. Terry Kill was again. Like, again, you kind of get the point here. The point is, is that there were a lot of people that were getting injured during the late half of the season. And it did not help the Miami Dolphins. They just keep getting hurt, and it sucks. But you kind of have to deal with it. It's just, it sucks, you know? I really do wish that this team could really, really do well. Like, personally, I would love to, because one, you um, get to beat the Patriots, and two, you get to beat the overrated Bills, which I don't say I feel a little bad for them. And three, but basically, I don't really like any of the teams in the East, except maybe Buffalo a little bit, because they have the ones who Jets, I hope they freaking burn because they have Aaron Rodgers, which they think, oh, we could just take back the quarterbacks and stuff like that. No, so, yeah, that's essentially what I'm trying to say. The Dolphins, let me say it again. I said this once and I'll say it again. This team could be really good if it weren't for their stupid dang climate. Climate is one of the issues, and the injuries are the other issue. They did, like, again, they did end up actually improving this team a little bit with, like, Jordan Brooks and, um, there's the other guy, Jordan Poyer, and winning Chop Robertson. They actually got a gigantic steal in the fourth round, and I think his name is Jalen Wright out of Texas, but he's really back. So, you get the point. Really, the draft there was kind of just death reasons. I don't know why you end up needing it. Well, actually, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, it was like, or, Gone, so I guess that makes sense. But you kind of get the point. They couldn't use that pick, in my opinion. I don't know, like offensive line, because you really haven't improved upon your own line, which isn't that good. And you lost Robert Hunt, who is easily one of your better offensive line. See, so yeah, they did lose some pieces a little bit during the offseason, but there weren't like anything like extremely, oh god, we gotta be scared, you know. Kind of like the Bills, for example. Like, they, well, obviously, they did lose a lot of pieces. At least the Dolphins, they didn't lose any, like, big major pieces. I'm like, you know, Bills. Like, in my opinion, this is, could be maybe my favorite. Like, I say maybe, because this last time I said they were my favorite, uh, well, we saw what happened. They, well, so far, they're my favorite to winning the division. Unless the Jets are really, really good, which I guess that isn't a surprise either. I couldn't pretty much consider this team being our favorite in the season. Just because you never know what the Jets is. And the Bills, well, they have a lot of ifs. It's the same thing with the Patriots. So, you really, really can't put them in a better situation than they are right now. I mean, I'm not even kidding. You. There is no other better situation than you are in the East. Also, you switch places with the Chiefs in the AFC West, and it's a bit of a different story. But you get the point. It is extremely obvious that this team easily needs to kind of need to take an advantage of this. Like, if they get the number one seed, they don't have to worry about playing in cold climates. That's a pretty big thing. It's like, again, if they get home to the advantage in every game, they should be fine. But that's again, it should be fine. Because again, oh, they're in Miami, so what do you expect? But even then, like, if you're going against, like, Texans at home, or Jacksonville at home, just to get to that out there, um, any of those teams, like, it's not the end of the world, they got pretty warm climates there too, but like, you get the point. The point is, as I'm saying, this team sucks in cold weather, which again, you can also say that, maybe, well, uh, well I guess, I don't know if that's true, but you get, you kind of get the point, and also injuries. So, yeah, that's kind of I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video.